Welcome to the rocket profile of the Molnia rocket, which launched Luna 9, the first spacecraft to make a soft landing somewhere other than Earth. The Molnia rocket is part of the R7 family, which also includes the rockets that launched Sputnik, Vostok, and Soyuz. As such, it has the familiar configuration of four boosters, each with RD-107 engines and two vernier thrusters, burning kerosene and liquid oxygen for two minutes to provide between 921 and 995 kN of thrust. The vacuum specific impulse of the RD-107s is 313 to 314 seconds, depending on the particular version of the Molnia rocket. The core, named Block A, has an RD-108 engine providing between 833.6 and 941 kN at an ISP of 314 to 316 seconds in vacuum. The RD-108 has a burn time of 4 minutes and 50 seconds to 4 minutes and 55 seconds. Unlike earlier R7 family rockets, Molnia was specifically designed to launch interplanetary missions. However, it is also famous for launching satellites into the Molnia orbits, named after the rocket itself, as well as the associated satellite line. The word Molnia actually means lightning. To reach higher orbits, it had two more stages. The second stage after the core and boosters was the Block I, which was an RD-0107 engine burning kerosene and oxygen for 4 minutes and 7 seconds with a thrust of 297.5 kN and a specific impulse of 326 seconds. The RD-0107 was later upgraded to the RD-0110 used on the Molnia M rockets, which is the same as the upper stage on the Soyuz rocket. It is also related to the RD-0124 flown as the upper stage on the Soyuz 2.1B. The final stage was the Block L, which was an S1.5400 engine on the early Molnias and the 11D33M on the Molnia M. The S1.5400 provided 63.7 kN of thrust for 3 minutes and 28 seconds, while the 11D33M had 67.3 kN of thrust for 2 minutes and 43 seconds. The rocket was first launched in 1960 and made its last flight in 2010, giving it a 50-year career. Molnia M flew for 46 of those years, with 297 launches, of which 276 were successes, for a success rate of 92.9%. During its exploration heyday, Molnia and Molnia M launched Vernera 1, the first spacecraft to fly past Venus, Luna 9, the first spacecraft to soft land on any body other than Earth, and transmit photographic data when it landed on the moon, Luna 10, the first artificial satellite of the moon, that is, the first lunar orbiter, and Venera 7, the first spacecraft to land on another planet and first to transmit data from another planet back to Earth. So the Molnia rocket was truly the beginning of interplanetary exploration. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Molnia rocket.